Um, you live in New York City, and you grew up in India, not in Bombay, I'm assuming. Did you grow up in Bombay? No, I did not. I grew did, up in Kerala. How well did you know Bombay? Because you capture Bombay in a very beautiful way. It's not the modern Bombay that, you know, the hip Bombay that Bollywood films tend to show. That there are no marine drives. There's no South right. Bombay scenes in it. Right. Um, yeah. Well, uh, my relationship with Bombay is maybe, I think it's a, <clears throat> a good um, comparison would be like how people in the U.S. know New York. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you grow up some other city in the U.S., you kind of, like, know what New York is all about. Even, you don't have to come here, you know what I mean? Because, like, people, the city's got so much presence. It's, I think Bombay is like, very similar in India. The city's got so much presence. And when I was a kid, you know, we used to go through the Illustrated Weekly and the photographs, you know. And there was, and of course, like, Bollywood. And... And there was there were all there was all this information about the city, and you were like, oh, I really want to go there. And and I had my cousins who used to live there, and they when they used to come for summer summer vacations, you know, they would be like talking about the city. And so I had this kind of like, <clears throat> you know, idea about what the city was. But eventually, when I went there in the late teens, you know, it was like bigger and you know much different than what I what I really had it, had built up in my mind. And 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 then having come to, come to the U.S. and having lived here for a number of years, I. I really wanted to make my first film in Bombay. I have no idea why. <laughs> so, uh, so that's how. I mean, I really wanted to make a film in the city to capture like part of Bombay that's going to change and is in transition, Wait, geographically it, and you know, architecturally actually. You, you mentioned transition, and that's a very interesting point because there's one really very quiet and beautifully short moment when the three characters visit a dead mill right. uh, in the yeah. outskirts of Bombay within Bombay. And, um, you know, a, a, there's a certain stillness in the way the shots are taken, but what was the idea behind showing that mill, for instance? And you focus a substantial amount of time in, the, in this, you know, <laughs> yeah. this five minutes, yeah. six minute long scene. Yeah. I mean, for me as a filmmaker, I think it was important that I capture like a part of Bombay that's probably not going to exist like five years from now, you know? So that's why you have the chawls, you have the mill, you know, the, the, the world of the hand painting, the Bollywood posters, and all that stuff is, was kind of important for me. I just wanted to kind of capture it for posterity. I'm sure it's been done before, but for me personally, I think it was, it was an exercise that I felt that I had to go through. So, and this abandoned textile mill, I mean, I, I was looking at, when I, even when I was writing the script, I had this idea about this mill, and I did a lot of research about, like, textile mills and, like, where can I go and photograph them. So even before I went there uh, on location scouting, you know, I had, like, all these places that, that possibly I could shoot in, but, you know, but most of, the, most of the mills are gone now, you know, so it kind of, like, talks about an era that's gone, you know, you know when we talk about the life of the city and how the city has changed and how the whole... I mean, Bombay was a textile town, right? I mean, over the past two centuries. And then now, you know, that whole industry has kind of, like, gone away. Mm -hmm. And the remnants of that industry is also, like, disappearing. So I think it was, like, yeah. important for me to... Recap. It was remarkable that you were actually able to find a, right. a mill. Actually, like, like, most of the mills are not there in the city anymore, like I was saying. I mean, they're either, they've either been converted to, like, other purposes or they've been torn down. This one place is still there. It's right in the middle of the city. And it's just there because it's held up in litigation, you know. Ah. 